This is a wireless set 19. This particular model is built by RCA, a British design from World War II. The wireless set 19 uh, represents a, a radio set that was built um, in the uh, early 1940s to replace the equipment that was basically obsolete, but uh, a lot of it left behind in France during the, uh, the British uh, departure from France at the uh, onset of the Battle of Britain. Uh, they needed a uh, radio set to put in the armor that they would be developing and uh, they were looking for something that would not be uh, complex to build, would use uh, commercial parts, uh, nothing expensive, yet would have all the capabilities needed for armor. Uh, that is a, uh, an HF radio set capable of CW and AM operation, as well as a short-range set uh, used for armor-to-armor -armor, uh, short-range communications. Um, also, um, uh, a tank needs an intercom uh, that allows the crew members to be able to speak to one another on the vehicle. So all of those uh, were put into this set. Um, this also represents a, a new concept of using commercial off-the-shelf parts in military equipment. This is probably one of the first examples of using uh, COTS construction. All of the parts are made from stampings. Um, the use of machine parts is minimized. Um, uh, commercial parts such as these plastic knobs are used throughout. Um, very inexpensive castings on some of the uh, connector shells. Um, the whole thing was made as a low-cost um, set. It also uses quite a bit of complex circuitry inside to make up the difference for the uh, the lack of uh, ruggedness in some of the components. This is the same principle used in some of the uh, the Far Eastern uh, Japanese and uh, Chinese uh, transceivers on the market today uh, that replace a few circuits with many circuits and able to uh, produce very very high uh, performance using many simple inexpensive parts rather than few very expensive parts. So this set goes completely against the, uh, the normal uh, uh, doctrine of American uh, military manufacture at the onset of World War II, which is to use the highest quality parts possible with the most ruggedness possible. Uh, this set also represents the first true transceiver um, in, uh, in military use. Um, all of the circuits are used both in the transmit and receive uh, circuits. Um, the A set, there's an A set and there's a B set. The A set tunes from uh, about 2 megahertz to as high as 8 megahertz. And uh, CW and AM are produced. It's capable of about 20 watts output on CW and about 5 watts output on AM. The B set is the short range UHF uh, transceiver. This is a super generative receiver and an ultra audion transmitter. Operates at a frequency of 240 megahertz, and that was used for uh, armor to armor uh, short range communications. So the wireless set 19 uh, uh, also have some built in test features that were quite unusual for military equipment. Uh, we have this, uh, this meter which gives you the, uh, this is your automatic volume control um, indications, much like an S meter. As you tune, as you tune through the station, you'll see that the meter actually goes down, which is interesting. Here's your uh, low voltage, which is 12 volts for the filaments. Your uh, first high voltage is uh, a little over 200 volts, and the uh, high voltage for the uh, final amplifier is close to 550 volts. 
you can also uh, look at your drive uh, by putting in your key jack you turn the set into the transmit mode and now when you press the key you can measure your drive you can tune up into the 80 meter CW band we go into the CW mode So this is an N4 station calling probably from uh, the southern states of the U.S. The wireless set 19 is notoriously hard to keep on frequency. very broad. You can hear lots of uh, interference coming in on the side from sideband stations. We wanted to net this signal. We want to get on his frequency. We go to RT, we press the net button, There, we've zero beated it. Now we go back to CW. He will sound normal. And now when we transmit, we will be exactly on his frequency. So this is how the transceiver is netted. Again, we go to the RT. We press the net button. And we zero beat. Now we are on his frequency. So there's absolutely no doubt that this wireless set 19 developed by the Pi company in England represents the first transceiver and is certainly the grandfather of all of those Yesus and ICOMs.